What's going on guys, Sethward here, and welcome to a very special video. Um, I'm not even gonna do this actually because the dryer is going, but I just wanna unbox the thing. So just so you guys know, this is live, but the intro I'm gonna record is not live, and anything else, yeah, cause the dryer is going right now, and that's not cool. So uh, anyway, I this thing just arrived, so I wanna unbox it and have some fun. Alright guys, for today's very special video, we are unboxing the Apollo Explore electric scooter. This is a single motor scooter, and it is not necessarily the beginner entry level scooter, but it's not necessarily the highest level scooter either. So I wanted to get something a little bit in between. So looking in the first side of the box here, you can see they've actually included another set of inner tubes, and in the other side, a multi-tool as well as a charger. Pulling this thing out of the box for the first time, I knew it was heavy, but numbers are one thing, uh, and picking it up for the first time, that was definitely a good experience. It weighs about 52 pounds, and 50 pounds feels a lot heavier than it looks printed on a piece of paper. Okay, first impressions, this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Looking at it, seeing like 10 inch wheels, I was like, okay, 10 inch, but 10 inches is big. All right, so the first critical step you want to take is making sure that you unlock your scooter and fold it up the correct way. Right there you hear the click, which means it is locked in place and will not collapse on you when riding. Apollo emphasizes this just to make sure you are extra careful. So right here I am going to start setting up the bars and pulling the thing out of its wrapped shipping position as we cut off the pieces of fabric. Um, giving the scooter a little bit of walk around here, you can see the back hub motor right there. The deck looks really nice and I love the blue and black accents. When taking the scooter out of the box, everything comes in random positions, so it is up to you to set them up where you would like as well as tightening the handles up to the handlebars so that they do not fold down while riding here you can see there's a bell as well it's tiny it's really funny pulling the handlebars up and down will adjust the overall height of the stem uh, don't worry about this too much right now because um, you won't really know what your preference is until you start your first ride with that being said I've got a bunch of other accessories to go ahead and unbox for you guys stick around for the next video tomorrow to catch my first ride on the Apollo Explorer. All right guys, it is now the next day. I have not ridden my scooter yet. I've been anxious to, because I wanted to show you guys the first ride. As you saw in the thumbnail in the very beginning, I have a bunch of other boxes. I ordered accessories and stuff from Amazon. Now we're here, ready to unbox them all. And uh, I guess show you guys all the stuff that I got, some scooter accessories that might be helpful for you to have as well. Um, we're starting off with something that is actually the most important thing, in my opinion, I think should be most important thing for everyone. And that, you'll see in just a second here. If I can find the center of the box. Is, ba 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 ba, drum roll. Is a lock. So, um, I have seen videos of like regular old locks. Um, I, some people use, but I thought that like a U-lock would be the best kind of thing because, you know, there's not a whole lot of, not a whole lot when it comes to working with a scooter. You don't really have openings to go and lock the thing. This is a cable that goes with it. Um, I can, I'll link this below, I guess, if you guys are at all interested. But this is the Via Velo bike lock. Um, it's a U-lock, so basically, key right here, unlocks it, pulls the whole thing off, and then you just hook it up. And the goal with this was, it keeps the scooter close to the bars. So when it's close like that, there's no way it's going to pull off. And now after seeing how big the thing is, it makes even more sense. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I actually like the, f the finish of this. It's not like just straight metal. It feels cool. So anyway, three keys with that, which is nice. So I'm going to carry those around with me. This is the heaviest of all the boxes I have. I don't know if that's a hint to anything, but... But yes, lock is the number one thing. Super important for a scooter. And again, I'm a complete beginner here. Never owned an electric scooter, never ridden an electric scooter in my life, apart from way back in the day when rode those Razor scooters, you know. I'm a novice, but I figured all this stuff is important. So, wanted to just capture that for you guys. And uh, just know that even amateurs, as an amateur, you can still get into this and hopefully I'm taking the right steps to do that. Oh yes, this one is exciting. Flip that around, look at that. This uh, already gives it away. I don't know if I can get the box out of the box here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try just flipping this over. 
hello. I know it's been so long, I almost forgot what I ordered, so I'm just kind of hoping that all this fits. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't have to, like, return it, because I don't think I can. Okay, anyway, here's what we're working with here. The Demon Podium Helmet, and... Da -da 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 -da, the big reveal is coming. It's coming, guys, it's coming. I need to figure out how to get this out of the box, though. Okay, box aside. Helmet acquired. So, helmet, obviously, most important thing for anybody, for anything that you're writing, for anything that you're doing. And I see these kids on e-bikes out there without helmets, and I think, how stupid can you be? You know, that's why I didn't want to jump on that train. I got a scooter instead of an e-bike. Ooh, this looks good. This looks real good. Look at that. The pictures did it justice, I do have to say. The finish of this, super nice. It's lightweight. Um, and this is a mountain biking helmet. Um, I didn't want a motorcycle helmet because they're like big, bulky, and really heavy. So this should do the job nicely. Um, let me put it on real quick, see how it fits. All right, definitely a little snug, but it's supposed to be, right? It's a helmet, but it doesn't shake around, so. That's the good thing. What up, what up fam? This is probably a very unflattering angle. All right, so helmets is an essential piece of scooter as well. Um, this is a nice one. I just have a standard bike helmet, but you want a full face helmet in case you crash at 30 plus miles an hour. It's not going to be fun. There's my Demon Podium helmet. Looks sick. I'm excited. Let's keep rolling. All right, so we'll keep the scheme going. Bring out my last box here. Um, this is probably not something that is essential, but this is something that I wanted to get just again to be extra safe. Um, because when I started telling my mom about how fast these scooters were going and how fast the one I was going to buy was going, she was a little worried, and I can understand. So, you know, I wanted to make them happy by doing some extra bit to keep myself safe. So, here we go. This is actually a lightweight summer motorcycle jacket from Hawk. So... This is cool. I'm hoping that this fits as well. Problem is like, I'm smaller than a small, the way that the measurements went in here, so. Plastic inside of plastic inside of plastic. And here is, ah, heavy duty motorcycle jacket. I ordered the one with some neon, like yellow here. I figured it would kind of match the helmet. They're not exactly the same color, but close enough. There we have it. Gotta make sure this thing fits as well. But, ooh, this is nice. I wanted something that wasn't obviously too heavy, but I did want something that would protect me in the case that I ever fell. Um, because, you know, it might happen. Ooh, this is like a little ziplock right there. Okay, so this is thermal lining, which is removable. So I will probably take that out, actually. But this is nice. Ooh, a little phone holder, too. I like, I like. Oh, there's two more things. Two more, okay, two more things I gotta open. This jacket's sick. Okay. Two more things, two more things to open, and then we will get ready and ride. So, I love these packages, they just rip off. <laughs> it's such a big thing for something not that big. This, definitely not essential, but um, I am I plan to ride this scooter and get lost, that's my goal. So I wanna ride places I've never been, see things I've never seen, and get lost. So this is basically a phone mount that will mount to the scooter bars just like a bike and uh navigate me home should i get lost on my scooter which will happen hopefully one day oh and there's colors too i like that true active bike phone mount on amazon not that much money and uh hopefully it should be worth it all right and last but not least something again not super essential somehow this opened from the side so i'm just gonna pull this thing out not super essential but something that is always good to have, just in case I crash and burn. We got some gloves here. So that's pretty dope. I got a knife, slice these things open. And oh, there's two, unfortunately. Let's see how this one fits. These should be, these are, I think, mountain biking gloves. Okay, these are, I like these actually. There's some padding back here. These are uh, cheap ones. Zebratron. Um, but also I did notice YouTubers who make videos like this, which I'm gonna be one of those guys uh, who does scooter videos. 
it's kind of weird seeing people's hands. I don't know about you, but I'd much rather see somebody's hands with gloves on them because it it just looks cooler. So, yeah, these are these are actually nice. I like these. I like the helmets. Now I've got my gear. We're ready to go. I'm gonna start off not by wearing gloves, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to go for my first ride and take you guys along with me as a total beginner, someone who has never ridden an electric scooter before. Let's do this. 